Okay, guys, so I'm coming up towards the end. So just to make sure I'm clear, on a double um, front post, grab your yarn, pull it through this way, just like you're doing a double crochet. To do the back post, you go in from the back way, just like this. I'm sorry. Make sure I'm going in from the back of my work and front. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off right here on camera. Doing the front and back. So we're just doing four rows. The first row of double crochet is counted as our first row. The front bows pack back front and back post is counted as the second row. So we just got two more rows to go. And when I get to my chain three, I'm just gonna do my regular double crochet. Chain three, turn your work around. Turn the work around. And exactly what you did at the bottom is what you would do at the top. So this is a front post. So I'm just going to do front post. And then I'm going to do back post. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around for two more rows. Making sure you do exactly what you did from the previous row so the work can line up. And I'll be back once I have my rows completed. Okay, so I completed my four rows. The first rows of double crochet is counted as my first row. So I did three rows of front post and back post. As you can see, it lines up perfectly. So once you get done with that, here's how our work is looking. So now we're just going to go around our... Um, our vest and we're just going to put a single crochet all the way till we get to this side right here so I already have I've done my last front post so now I'm just going to chain one make sure I am in the camera so chain one and now I'm just going to go into the next space and do a single crochet and to every stitch around and I'm going right into my large space and I'm just going to do a single crochet all the way now once I get right here where I'm at my double crochets I'm just going to put a single crochet directly in there so we can just have a nice trim so go ahead and put a single crochet, put a single crochet all the way around until you get to the other side over here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went all the way around the vest and I did a single crochet. So now I can go ahead and cut my yarn and fasten off okay so the best part is done so now we're getting ready to make a belt to go around here so I'm going to start off with a slip knot and I'm going to chain a total of 250 now you can make this smaller or bigger depends on whatever size you want but go ahead and chain 250 so that we can make our belt. And I'll be right back once I have my chain of 250. Okay, so I have chain 250. So let me go ahead and fasten off. So here's my, here's my belt. So all I'm going to do is just find a spot on my jacket and I'm just going to go and weave in and out skipping like three spaces one two three going into the fourth space 
And I'm just going to weave this belt in and out. So go ahead and find the spot where you want your belt to be located and just weave in and out your belt just like this and go all the way around and I'll meet you back once I have mine. All right, so I went on and put my belt through here. I went every fourth stitch. So there's my belt. I have some wooden buttons right here. So I'm just gonna be adding some buttons to my belt. And I went on and got my needle right here. And this is optional if you wanna add the buttons. So I'm just gonna put my buttons on on my um my needle and like i said this is optional i'm just going to bring it through just like this on my tapestry needle and then i'm just going to make a couple of knots to ensure these uh buttons stay on so I'm just gonna make a couple of knots. Bring it all the way down. Just two. Two out of hold it closed. All right. And now I can cut it, my extra piece off. And there you have it. I can tie this up. And there you have the finished product. I hope this tutorial was very easy. If you have any questions, please let me know. But there it is. I'm gonna show you a better angle. Okay, everyone, I am back. So here is the finished product. I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial. The total yardage that I used to create this look right here, I used 844 yards. This size right here is anywhere from a small to a large. If you would like to make this in a larger size, where we did the panels, we did 16 rows of this mesh. You will go 20 rows or 24 rows if you need it any larger and repeat the same steps. Only thing you would do is where we got the mash stitch at, you would do 20 rows or 24 rows to complete this look in a larger size. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, email me or whatever you gotta do. But there is the finished product, adding our buttons, our front post, back post stitch, two panels connected, and yeah. So again, thank you so much for, um, and, and until next video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, bye for now.